Hi, hello, and welcome to Rebel Unicorn Crafts. Today we're going to be diving into a fluid painting mystery of using some different additives to create cells in paintings depending on the effect that you'd like to achieve. So I'm going to be doing in total five different tests for this so that we can see how different things change the paint. I have a control, one with silicone, olive oil, dish soap, and rubbing alcohol. I'm going to be using all Craft Smart paint and the way I mix my colors up is I just thin with water. And when I do it with the right consistency, I don't get cracking with this and I don't typically add silicone so my traditional would be the control that we're going to go for here. But I'm really curious to see how these different ones make different cells. So what I did is I mixed up all of my colors, a bunch of each one. I've got black, silver, a bluish color, a bright green, and a purple. And I've got all of these to the right consistency. Then for each one of these, I'm going to separate out and these are going to be the colors where I add my additives to. Typically, when you're pouring paint and you're doing an additive of cells, you don't always add it to every color. So I'm going to just add it to two. So I've got my blue and my black is what I'm going to be adding the additives to. And then I'll just use the remainder colors that I've already pre-mixed. So each of these, the only difference in how I am changing these is whatever additive I have. I'm using from the same pot. I mixed everything up the same way. And I'm just going to try to control the variables in that way. So first we're going to add in our silicone. I would for this little bit of paint only put probably two, I mean, it's probably three or four drops in, but it's not that much. Mix that up. For olive oil, I'm gonna use about the same amount. And for the dish soap, this is just a Dawn detergent I have in this and I just put in about two pumps in each of those. And for the rubbing alcohol, I used a little pipette and I put in about the same amount as I did everything else. I don't actually, I've never used olive oil, dish soap, or rubbing alcohol, so I'm really curious to see if I have the proportions right or how it affects things. Then I'm gonna give all of these a good mix up using or wiping off the stirring stick in between each of these so that I'm not cross-contaminating anything because I don't want to accidentally get a little olive oil in the rubbing alcohol or vice versa. I personally only like cells when they kind of occur as an accident, but I do think the cells look really neat. In the past in my testing, silicone has made beautiful cells, but it has made the paint crack terribly and my control usually has nice kind of marbleish lines in it that remind me of kind of planetary weather on uh, outer space worlds, <laughs> I don't know. So anyways, I'm curious to see the difference. I'm assuming olive oil will be the closest to silicone because it's another oil, but who knows? The way I'm gonna try to control this is I'm going to use the same colors other than obviously switching out the ones with the different additives, but I'm also going to try to put in about the same amount in the same order each time. And you're gonna to have to just trust me on that, but that's what I tried to do each time. And I'm just doing a dirty cup and flip for each of these. And I'll speed up the rest of them, but I wanted you to kind of see the general order. I went through each lineup basically twice so that I got a few different layers of things. What is your guess for what's gonna be your favorite one? I'm assuming it's gonna be the control for me because that those are the ones I like because they remind me of planets, but everybody has a different taste and a different way of doing this. So here's the control, my favorite part, which I covered for you. <laughs> And as expected, there aren't too many cells. Uh, sometimes I get a few here, and there are a few, but it's mainly those marbly stripes. Okay. 
and repeating that same pour order for you there with the silicone. And for this one, I expect there to be a ton of cells because that's usually how silicone works. So let's let that sit for a second and already have more cells. So there's no surprise there. My main thing will be seeing if the silicone um, cracks this one because that's the experience that I've had. And I don't know if that's just the paint I'm using. Again, you know, when I do these testing videos, there's a lot of different opinions on whether I did everything right. And I probably didn't do everything right, but I do just kind of think that you have to just do what works for you. And for me, I like the Craft Smart paint with the water and kind of the flowy look to it. So if what I'm doing isn't what you like, then you should do what you like, but use what I've given you here as maybe a little knowledge base. So yes, silicone had lots of cells. I'm expecting a similar result from the olive oil, but I'm really curious. In theory, it should work the same-ish. And there are no cells. Olive oil is a little more liquidy than silicone. Um, there are a few cells here, but it's a lot more like the first painting, the control painting, than the silicone painting. So that's already pretty surprising to me. Did you expect that? Have you tried using olive oil? This one really seemed to muddy. I was not overly impressed. I do like kind of how dark it made things and then how that green is like hinting through. It seems to have watered down my dark black color though. And for dish soap, I am quite skeptical of this one. I mean, I guess I don't know what is in soap, but it's, it's some fats, I believe. So maybe it should work similar, but I don't know, that's a little weird to me. And I was super surprised. The cells on this are insane. Like, I really do like how this one looks because it seems to be a cross between the type I like, that marbly kind of planet-like, and the silicone. So far, this is my favorite. You might, if you haven't already, you might need to try dish soap. And for our final test, we're going to be doing rubbing alcohol. This is a uh, 50% rubbing alcohol I believe I put into these. And this one does worry me a little bit because I feel like this is just gonna thin the paint. Um, but it should also evaporate. Is it gonna affect the drying? I have no idea. And I'm not seeing a bunch of cells here. It's a little more of that marbly look to it. It looks pretty neat, but I'm not sure that that's the rubbing alcohol doing much of anything. Now, disclaimer here, these, if you use a different paint brand that has a different formula, the additives are probably going to react a little differently with the paint that you're using. So you could have very drastically different results. I did do a quick torch on all of them to, since we're testing for cells, give them the best chance of, you know, developing some cells. The only one it seems to have done much of anything on was the olive oil one. Here's a close up of them wet. That is pretty cool. But there's no doubt my favorite is, is the dish soap. I'm 
so surprised, but man, it really does look like um, a water feature. I was pretty underwhelmed with both the olive oil and the rubbing alcohol ones. I let these dry for about two days, and here are the results. They all have a little bit of cracking, and I think that's primarily because I didn't stretch these as much as I usually do, but the silicone still had the most cracking on it. Like it's almost unusable. And the rest of them had kind of like micro cracking. My absolute favorite painting though is the dish soap one. It's pretty incredible. And it only had a little bit of cracking right around here. Remember that whatever supplies you use and how you do it might differ than the way I do. So your results will be different. But in my opinion, the best additive to try other than silicone is dish soap. It gives you really cool cells without the cracking. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a magically creative day.